So here we are on the set of number 14 shooting at Doug Young Studios. starters this is probably the most violent thing that I've ever written but with that being said I think there is a place for it especially in the realm of hitmen and assassins because this story is basically showing the opposite of what you would normally see in a Hollywood-esque hitman or assassin movie the difference with this story is when you watch the cliche Mark Wahlberg movie or something at the end of the movie they walk away from this explosions or them killing and murdering like 50,000 people they just walk away with this like like they walked away from the bathroom, like no difference. And so I kind of wanted to show the opposite of that, to show guys who still do the same thing as in kill people for a living, but show, show the heart of it instead, to show that these guys, particularly my character, uh, probably won't be able to do this much longer. He has to live with knowing what he does and being the only one who knows what he does. And so that relates to the piano monologue of where he played the piano and messed up, but everyone thought he did good. And so he couldn't live with the fact that everyone thought he did perfect. So me and Jeff were in Germany traveling. Uh, the whole European slash Jason Bourne inspiration just kept kept hanging out with my mind. And I was like, man, I'm just gonna, I just wanna do this short film. So on the, on the plane back from Germany, I started to write this, number 14. Got some ideas down, but when I got home, I was listening to Beethoven, uh, Moonlight Sonata. And the story just evolved on the spot. I'm Isaiah Stratton, uh, playing the employer in this latest short film, number 14. I've known Justin for maybe five or six years. I met him downtown Greenville. He and his brother Jordan were actually filming a Bear Grylls spoof in the uh, Reedy River. And I ran into him down there and uh, started talking to him and found out you know, he likes making films. And uh, just over the last couple of years, been helping with some of his short films and uh, just doing some different fun things with him. So uh, when I found out he was doing this latest one, I uh, drove down from Nashville to help him out with it. Uh, I'm Jordan Kelly. I'm doing makeup on the set today. And I met Justin through North Greenville University. He and I, we were at school together and I knew that he liked to do a lot of the shooting and filming and I wanted to collaborate with him because I do hair and makeup, so. 
get the artistic juices flowing. My name is Jeff Robinson. I'm the brother of Justin. I'm the oldest one and uh, my part in this film is to play an assassin and uh, the moral of the film through his character is that's not really a lifestyle that you'd want to pursue. It's not a good thing and also um, Justin actually kills me in the movie and we've had a lot of brawls growing up and a lot of tap out jujitsu, stand up sparring sessions. So um, one thing I would say about that is you know how they say the movies are not reality. Well, you know, in real life, Justin's usually the one tapping out, but since it's the movies, I'll be the one to take the fall for him. But it's fun, and uh, hopefully the message gets across. Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Brett Driver, and uh, yeah, I'm a filmmaker out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, originally, uh, now living in Los Angeles. My name is Chris Brank, and I'm here today to provide some audio equipment and to be moral support for Chris Birch. My name is Chris Birch. I have no qualifications to be here. You said, how did I, I meet Justin? Okay. A few months ago, I helped a buddy of... Dude, I'm so bad on camera, so <laughs> just bear with me. Um, originally, I met Justin on the set of uh, my friend's web series, Olin Rogers, on Pop Rocket. Uh, Justin was doing a lot of the lighting, doing the gaffing for it, and uh, Justin uh, is a really awesome guy, very legit, and uh, just a really down-to-earth guy, just really awesome to work with, so I definitely wanted to work with him again. He's helped me on a few of my films, and uh, yeah, I wanted to be here and help him out on this, this film as well. Grandma? Silver Hunt, oh my gosh, that smells good. What is that? Oh, it's my cigarette, I should have known. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> we'll keep on a little distance. This is what it is. So we <laughs> Hey, I'm David Gaskin, and um, I've been shooting some behind the scenes footage for J Rob's new film, uh, Number 14. Okay, here we are. Gonna shave the head for the movie. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Just cut your eyebrow. Oh. So when I pitched this idea to a few of my close friends in August, I was like, hey, I wanna do this short, this fight scene, blah, blah, blah. I don't wanna look like me. So I was like, I may grow up my beard a little bit. And my friend Ryan was like, grow it now. And I was like, okay. And so finally, with the help of puberty and the help of an Iraqi type beard, I didn't look like Justin. So my first goal was that I really just wanted to choreograph a fight scene. And not knowing many guys who can fight, because if you just walk up to your average Joe and say, hey, throw me a left jab, and you film it, it would look pretty horrible. So knowing my brother Jeff, who's pretty nasty when it comes to anything violent. <laughs> That's a second kick. That's when the music stops, falls off. Get back up. <laughs> Come back with the last one. He's coming with the big. I don't know. It's the. This is the last one. Game over. Big kick. Punch in the face. Ding dong. Swing. Rib cage. Swing. Face. Elbow. Going like this. Fake jab, spinning back, bam, spot down. So with, with the fight choreography, I'm not trained or professional by any means. It's just something I want to do. And something I did as a kid with my brother Jordan, we would just set up the VHS camera on the table and we would make hit noises with, it, with our chest to fake the fight scene. And we would just do it for hours. And so that was kind of where it started for me. And now eventually I just kind of wanted to do stunt work and fight choreography as long as I can until my body tells me to stop. The fighting style came from the Jason Bourne movies, The Raid Redemption, UFC, Krav Maga, Tony Ja, and Clinton Jones' Sleeping Dogs movie. And rolling. Take two. Rolling conversation with Isaiah, take two. <laughs> and set. I'm not in front of the camera if I can help it, and that's for pretty good reason. I like to write and direct acting. I leave that to people who can act, but if you see me in something, it's because it was a physical or stunt type role. And number 14 falls into both categories. 
I have never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. Just joking. No, but seriously, I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. But for this story, I knew that this character needed to. So, in preparation for that, I would go to random gas stations and watch people smoke outside. And I also studied Michael Fassbender's performance in the movie Hunger, directed by Steve McQueen. There's a scene in the movie where it's one take. And he smokes the entire scene, and it's fascinating because he looks like he's smoked for a thousand years. My name's Doug Young, and I'm a sculptor here in Taylor, South Carolina. And I have the studio space that uh, J-Rob is filming in today. I met, I really don't know how I met him. He just kind of wandered in. I have people coming in and out all the time. But uh, he's filmed a couple things here, and it's been a pleasure to be part of the program. I am Mike Gentilini Jr., and uh, here trying to assist J-Rob with uh, J-Rob Productions. And my job today is just to uh, run camera with Brett Driver. Uh, we've got the Scarlet, shooting at 4K, 24P, all that good stuff. And I'm doing a little DAT as well, dumping footage. and. Uh, Bunch of guys getting together, having some fun. Hey, I am Taylor Wooten. I am the boomer operator on set, so I'm capturing all the audio for uh, the short film. I am Nico Sexton. My job on number 14 is I am his script supervisor. In pre-production process, I would come with him to the set and I would start planning out with him. He would be, you know, being the main mind on everything and I would just be throwing in my ideas and be throwing in my little hints and stuff about what I would see and f especially from an acting perspective because you know one of the big times that he's doing this he's directing this but he's also the actor in this he's mainly acting uh, I met Justin in acting class in North Greenville University about three years ago and uh, I don't know I always thought he was kind of a weird guy at first but Started to grow on me and now he's one of my best friends I'll ever have. This is very indie, so obviously I can't pay people besides in love and food. And so a good friend of mine, Dr. Joe, provided craft services, which he goes all out. And so one of the coolest things for me about filmmaking is that it's where I get to see everyone. Like it brings people together, like Brett Driver from Thomaston. Michael goes and picks him up, brings him here. Brent Christie's from Charlotte, a lot of people. Davis from Charlotte. For one day, it just brings all these people, not just for networking's sake, but just for friendship's sake. I think it's really cool that people come together and, and work together and are willing to help me out because I can't pay them. So it's just by their grace that I'm able to shoot stuff because I wouldn't be able to do all this by myself. That would be a terrible, terrible video that I would not want to show you. So huge, huge thanks because there's so much stuff that you have to worry about when you wear a lot of hats. But stuff like today, man, like it's so nice just to have people who are good at what they do. 